You were getting mad at him? They have a machine here for you, man. They have a machine? This week we're in New York for business and we're checking out a bunch of hotels as well and the first stop is a Conrad in Midtown New York. One of the cool things is the majority of this property is all suites and we got upgraded to the king one bedroom suite. Before we dive in, if you do like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. The seats are pretty comfy so this was our little workstation and I like how the rooms are really artistic. So like the decor overall is pretty cool. There is a weighted mini bar, the coffee and tea station. And there are doors here, so it's good if someone's trying to do some work or watch some TV and another person wants to rest. Or if you have meetings. Nice walk-in closet here, hang stuff up. A pretty sizable bathroom, sink, shower, and vanity right here. One thing that was interesting is that it's a hodgepodge of amenity brands. So usually we see aromatherapy at JW Marriott and Shanghai Tang at Conrad's, but they have both here. So who knows? We do have diamond status, so we got to free upgrade that way. And we also got a free breakfast credit. So let's go to breakfast. Diamond status, we did get a $25 breakfast credit up to two guests, so $50 in total. And I would say a la carte would be the way to go for this property. We opted for the buffet option this time, and it was more like a priority pass vibe, so nothing too special. I think I would prefer getting an omelet instead. You do have the option of spending the breakfast credit at the restaurant or room service, and based on some room service prices, the $25 per person credit probably won't go that far. After breakfast, we did explore the gym, and it was pretty spacious for New York, and it had really modern equipment. Oh, that was service. It's cool though. One of the benefits of staying at Conrad Midtown is that it's close by Times Square so you can see all the touristy things if you're into that, but at the same time you don't have to hear chaos. So it's only a few blocks away from Fifth Avenue where a lot of great shopping takes place. During our most recent trip to Vegas, I did lose my green jacket. I ended up getting a version from Canada Goose. After shopping, we ended up meeting up with a bunch of friends in Koreatown for some Korean barbecue. It's one of my must-do items whenever I'm in New York because it's kind of hard to find good Korean barbecue at a good price point in San Francisco if you live within the city. We stopped by your mom's house to hang out and also play some poker, and afterwards we got some dollar slice pizza. Overall, I would give the Conrad Midtown a 4.5 out of 5. The price can be a bit aggressive, so it's one of the best use of Hilton certificates from a card like the Hilton Aspire or the Surpass, or maybe even transfer out some membership reward points. Side note, if you do want to support this channel, feel free to use the links down below. It's a huge way to help, so thank you guys in advance. The next morning. Just checked into the Conrad downtown and we got placed into a Riverside Suite, but it is a little smaller than the Midtown one, so let me show you. Right when you walk in, there's a little couch area and workstation is here, but then the mini bar and coffee station is here. It's cool that they have a sink, but there's not really a division between the bathroom. The amenities are a bit different. So Mojave Ghost, the shower is in the middle section. Waterfall overhead, and over here is the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. For privacy, there is a door. I'm not sure what's going on here. Do I really want to know? Sebastian, what's wrong? So here is the bedroom area. Basically, I do like the Midtown location because there's more of a division and it feels larger. This side actually does not open, but robes are in here, ironing board, umbrella if it's raining, and iron, and more storage space over here. Oh, what's in here? Oh, the safe is actually over here. And there is a fridge. Weighted mini bar is underneath here, and it looks like someone already tried out the Nespresso. So one thing I really like about this property is that it's really sustainable and you can see that through their key cards, which are made out of paper and not plastic. The amenities they have, so it's all shared shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and also the water filtering system. So instead of giving you bottles of water like the Midtown property, 
check this out. I feel like they should mark this better, but if you open this cabinet, it is a water filtering system. They give you these refillable aluminum bottles so you can go take it out and refill it as you please. There are also glasses. Put it here and see it in action. Wow! We had VIP tickets to a party hosted by Super Plastic, which is a digital entertainment startup. The venue was Beauty in Essex, which is a really cool experience because in the front it's a pawn shop and then the bar and the actual venue is behind a secret door. The pawn shop area was decorated with super plastic vinyls and it's kind of cool because it's a sneak peek of the vinyls that are going to be exclusive to the NYC pop-up store that will be opening soon. Okay, let's take a look inside the bar. The venue was a lot bigger than I expected. There were two stories and the food and drink were also great. Overall, it was a short and productive trip to New York City. Some 2 a.m. pizza. 2 a.m. pizza because room service is closed and someone wanted dollar slice, but it's not actually dollar slice. This is like seven dollar slice. Hey, 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 we're in New York. You you have to do late night pizza. We already did Joe's last night. Seven dollar um, slice from Artichokes. 2 a.m. When we woke up, we went downstairs for breakfast. The service here was really good and we felt like VIPs. It also might be because we're close to Goldman Sachs and a lot of the big firms, so they probably have a ton of corporate clientele here. We ended up ordering the omelette and this was probably one of the best omelets we've had. Let's open it up and take a look. Taste-wise, it won as well and I would definitely recommend it. Overall, I think if it's your first time in New York, I would definitely recommend Midtown. The fact that Times Square and Fifth Avenue are walkable is awesome, and it's the calm street and otherwise busier area. If you're here for work or you want to visit Wall Street, then Memorial, or Oculus, then downtown is a better fit. The area for the downtown hotel feels like locals going to and from work, in contrast to Midtown, where there are a ton of tourists who walk way too slow. Downtown is also really good if you want to visit Brooklyn or New Jersey since they're only a few stops away and probably 10 to 15 minutes depending on timing. I think either option is a great choice, but I prefer Midtown because I like the shopping. We also have a go-to downtown hotel with Hyatt that we like, so we tend to go back there often. Again, if you want to learn about cards, we have links down below in the description box. If you made it to this point, put a pizza emoji down in the comments and I'll try to heart it and respond. My question for you is, which location would you pick? Or where do you plan on using your Hilton certificates? Let me know and everyone else know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Otherwise, hope you guys liked it and see you in the next one. Keep going. Yeah, that was easy, right? <laughs> See? What were you saying? I feel like I'm gonna flip it, so I'm like, there's like a weight limit. Yeah, there's a weight limit. Yes, there's a weight limit. Just checked into the Conrad downtown and the suite. What? One thing we really like is that they have a pretty good water system. We did mention it was a special occasion and we got a complimentary bottle of Prosecco waiting for us in the room. Actually, good. 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 Act